and U.S. mail to more than 12,000 farm workers for more than 65 years. In 1988, Bev Gannon bought this building and turned into the wonderful restaurant that we have today, and they're now open Tuesday through Saturday for lunch or dinner beginning at 11 a.m. They got great burgers, steaks, and salads, and they're known for their pineapple upside down cake. They also have the gin, the vodka, the whiskey, and the rum that's brewed at our highly amount distillery. They serve it right here in cocktail form. What a great place to have lunch. And they're open today, of course. Uh, buildings we're driving through right now, old Mount Atlanta Pineapple Company buildings. And they were used for different things. These buildings right here on the left-hand side were horse stables. These, people, these horses, they brought the pineapple to and from the fields for more than 60 years. And then the fruit was put on top of a train, and the train took the fruit into Kalui to the cannery, where it was canned for more than 100 years. Uh, this building on the right right here was a small schoolhouse, grades 1 through 6 of the Kike. Uh, the farm workers had a place to go to school on the farm, followed up by a 100-year-old Mobile One gas station. That's that building right there with the flesh-colored roof. Straight ahead, that's our wash plant. We'll come back down there at the end of the tour, show you guys how we process and pass out your pineapples from that building. Maui Gold Production Office is right here on the right, and straight ahead, sunny Maui Gold Farms today. We had some rain last couple days. We got about four inches of rain in just a few hours last couple days, but today it's dried up and able to take you guys out in the field. Now, this is the best way to come out here and see the farm. Another way is to pick pineapple. If anybody's interested, I've got applications in my glove box. We'll get you signed up, and you can start picking pineapple tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> All right, traveling left to right, directly underneath us right now, you guys, East Maui Irrigation Canals. Uh, these water canals were built in 1870 by Alexander and Baldwin Packing Company. And there's more than 60 miles of water canals and tunnels bringing gravity-fed water from 3,000 feet of Haleakala all the way down here to Haiku, Haile Mali, Makawa, um, and Paia, and Kahului to water sugar cane and pineapple fields. And today, Maui Pono uses it for their lemon, lime, and orange trees that you all saw driving up the old Haleakala Highway. Pineapple transport trucks right here on the left. Each one of these trucks carries two baskets. Each basket capable of carrying 5,000 pounds of fruit. So we harvest between um, 25,000 and 125,000 pounds of pineapple weekly. We do that every week, all year long. Uh, one of the best parts of being in Hawaii is that we can plant and harvest fruits year-round. We don't really have a season here for a lot of the fruits that we grow. Now this truck right over here on the right, we've got a transport truck, and then we, on the inside, that's a plant shooter vehicle, the one that looks like a big yellow garbage truck. So what they do is they put the plant shoots in the back of that. i got one right here. This is a plant shoot. They grow on the base of the pineapple. Right here in the very bottom, uh, there's little roots right here in the very bottom. So we're going to put this in the back of the truck. Uh, about 75,000, and in between the bed of the truck and the cab of the truck is a plant shear can. That's that door with the rope hanging out of there. So the cannon door will open up and fire out 10 of these every second, 50 feet across the field. Once all the shoots have been dispersed, we'll have six planters come back and plant 75,000 shoots in one day. They do that twice a week, every week, 52 weeks out of the year. So as we harvest 2 million pineapple every year, um, six men plant 2 million pineapple every year, all by hand. Only pineapple farm in the world that does it this way. All right, guys, straight ahead, Mount Haleakala. This is a dormant volcano for about 235 years. Uh, 10,035 feet from sea level to summit. We can see the summit perfectly today. And when Mauna Loa was erupting the last couple weeks, you could actually see Mauna Loa erupting from the top of Haleakala. Uh, she's gone dormant again, just some steam coming off the top of Mauna Loa these days. Uh, but at night, you can still see a red glow uh, right there at the very core and on the very top. So past uh, sunset and just before sunrise. And they do have sunrise tours. You will need to make a reservation for that. Right hand side, we got the pineapple compost yard. Uh, we don't throw these pineapples away. About 6% of the pineapples from the farm don't make the store shelves. And we give these away to farmers. Pig, goat, chicken, and cattle farmers come out here every day. And we give those pineapples to them and they bring us back some fertilizer that we can put it back on top of the pineapple plants. Wow. Okay, we're heading to the back of 750 acres, everybody. And we're going to talk about pineapple growth all the way. Now, contrary to popular belief, pineapples do not grow in trees. 
They're bromeliad plants, and they grow in bushes three to five feet tall from the ground. It takes approximately two years to grow the first pineapple from ripeness, from plant shoot to ripeness. And then every season after that, we call them generations. Uh, the pineapple will take about one year. So two years for the first one, and one year for every pineapple after that. So after about four years and we get three pineapple, we let our field sit dormant, or fallow, what we call it, for a period of three to six months. And what that does is it allows the rainwater to come down and cleanse the earth and bring the natural nutrients back up to the surface. We'll test the soil. Once it reaches a pH of seven, then we're gonna go ahead and replow, add new chicken and cattle manure, and we're gonna replant pineapple right on top of the old pineapple fields. We've got some third generation pineapple right out here to the, to the right. These plants are just about four years old. This will be the final pineapple that comes from this plant. And then they'll go through a dormant period and then we'll plow it under and we'll replant. Fourth generation. But as what we're passing right now, these are dormant fields. And they produced millions of pineapple over the last 10 years. Right? Uh, a lot of these fields on the right side of the road are in their dormant period. Just after the first of the year, all the fields on the right will be plowed under and replanted. Now, once they plow them under, they'll look just like the fields on the left, right? Uh, we don't remove the pineapple plants. We just plow them back under the ground, and they become a nutrient for the new pineapple plants that get planted. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to put down a three-quarter inch water drip line, and that'll bring about a gallon of water per plant per week. On top of the drip line, they're going to put biocompostable carbon mulch. And they're going to plant the pineapple right through that carbon mulch. And the carbon mulch helps uh, to keep the weeds under control. It also helps to keep the roots of the pineapple plant warm. A little bump right here. Now, once these fields on the right get plowed, like I said, they're going to look just like these fields on the left. So they just don't plow one time; they plow three times. Right? They're on their final; they're on their third plow right now. So get them nice and ground up. And then the next thing they'll do, they'll come out there with a fertilizer truck, and they're going to put down a chicken and cow manure. And then the water line, and then the carbon mulch, and then the pineapples going right on top. Okay, our destination, right over here, right up on top of the left-hand side, baby pineapples, you guys. It takes about a year for the baby pineapple to appear on the plant. So the first 11 and a half months is just growth. Then you're gonna see a little fluorescent orange, reddish orange pod right down in the center of the plant. That little flower is actually the fruit. That's the pineapple itself. That's gonna be our first stop. Okay guys, you're allowed to get out of the bus and you're allowed to touch the plants, take as many pictures as you like, and I'm going to be outside to answer questions. Welcome to Maui Gold everyone, first stop.